Well, come along, guys, to my <laughs> off roading video on the 790 Adventure R. I've uh, had a slight problem. So I'm meeting up with the guys on this to do a bit of green lining. Heading up to Box Hill, meeting Hippodrones, Big Pezza and Mr Fish. Some, some, some off-roaders, some guys who've got into their off-road quite recently. Well, Pezza hasn't. So I thought I'd tag along on this because I don't want to do off-road on my own, just in case something happens <laughs> and I break something. Myself, I'm on about, not the bike. Well, all the bike. So it's always better to do off-road with some buddies. So uh, I thought, you know what, guys, I'll come up. I'll explore the local lanes, which I've never been on these lanes before, and we'll see how the 790R handles a bit of off-road. So the 790R is, you know, very similar to the standard 790. The engine is identical, 90-ish horsepower, 70-ish newton metres of torque. It's a parallel twin, the same engine that is in the 790 Duke, but slightly detuned. It doesn't make as much power as the 790 Duke because this is more for adventuring. There's a bit more torque here than there is top end. The big difference with the R is, of course, it's got the suspension to handle off-road. This has 240 millimetres of travel on the forks and on the shock, whereas the standard adventure only has 200 millimetres. So you've got an extra 40 mil of travel to absorb those bumps. The actual bike is much bigger, it's much taller. I'd say it's about five inches taller than the standard Adventure, which is actually very small. So because of that extra suspension travel, it makes the bike taller, it's unavoidable. So it's a big old bike this, and it feels much bigger than riding the standard Adventure. It's got a 21 inch front wheel, and actually comes fitted with some 50-50 tires on it. This has got the Metzler Kangaroos on, I believe. Kangaroos? Yeah, I think they're called kangaroos. Kangles? No, kangaroos, I think. So it's got a 50-50 tyre on. And using those tyres on the road, yeah, they feel absolutely fine, actually. It doesn't really feel any different on the road than what the 790, the standard adventure, does. It feels a little bit more unstable, I think, because it's a little bit higher at speed. If you do a bit of that, you can get a bit of a wobble going on it. Because this, because it's a much higher bike, much higher off the ground, and actually says on the front here, do not exceed 105 miles an hour or 170 kilometres an hour. And I think that is because it does become a little bit unstable at speed because it's so tall. But from a ride perspective, this feels lovely. It feels very, very similar to the normal 790 Adventure because that bike also has a 21 inch front wheel. Well, what I'll do, I'll turn you back on when we get to the wet and dirty stuff. Speak to you in a minute. Right, so we've arrived at Box Hill. We have Pezza, Hippodrones, and Mr. Fish out for a bit of fun. The last time I did the off road was in Spain on a GS 1250. So that was some light gravel lanes. So this is much lighter than the GS, of course. This is more off road focused than the GS. This is somewhere between like a full on enduro bike and something like the GS. It's, you know, it's that sweet spot. It is potentially the perfect bike, which you can do everything on. So I'm very, very interested to see how this handles the lanes. Well, I suppose we better stand up. Well, I haven't done any off-road in about three months. So this is a little bit scary, to be honest. Can feel that throttle is completely uh, completely uh, softened off. Da -da -da. Yeah, the suspension feels a lot more compliant than the uh, standard adventure. Evening. It is actually quite dark. I hope you can see enough on there because it is evening time. The sun is going down, so we're only going to get probably an hour of light. Hey, yeah, the suspension's fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Let's bang it down a cod. Quite handy having a quick shifter and blipper when you're off-road. You can just bang it down. 
Yeah, that throttle response has seriously softened. Big one. Nice. The hang up there. Shouldn't really. It's quite dry down here. There is some blessing. This tree cover has actually kept it pretty dry. Whew. Well, that one too bad. That one too bad. Suspension's really good, actually. Really good. Did you get over that job or all right? Yeah. Okay. Wheelie over that. Woo! First impressions. Very, very nice. Suspension is definitely more off-roady than, say, the uh, GS 1250. It's definitely more travel. It's definitely more compliant over the bumps. Rear brake. It's got to remember to turn straight out the back. This gives you a lot of confidence. I think we actually got some air there. Oh, bit of burmage going on there from the fish. <laughs> yes. That was a good little warm up. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Very nice. Plenty of power. Oh, it's really good. It gives you a load of confidence. A lot of confidence. It doesn't feel overly heavy. I mean, it's 190 kilos dry, so I mean, it is. It is heavy, but not compared to a, like a GS. So you can really feel that. I mean, that agility, because the weight of this bike is so low, because of the ball bag fuel tanks, you know, it does carry that weight really, really low. This sort of stuff, absolutely made for it. Bang it down a cod on the cut shifter, on the blipper even. Yeah, I'm quite thankful these lanes are, are nice and dry, even though it has been raining, this tree cover has kept them dry. It's moving around a bit. It's fine though. It's absolutely fine. One thing with this engine, you've got to leave it in the sweet spot. It gets a little bit chuggy. Oh, I hate ruts. Don't want to go down there. A little bit chuggy if you, if you let it go right down. You've got to leave it bubbling sort of above 3,000 revs, definitely. I was always terrified of... Ow, that's me, Ed. I was always terrified of standing up before. I've realised that the suspension cannot work properly if you're sat down. You need the weight on the foot pegs not on the seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's bloody dark, can't see shit. Done now. Loosen up, Chops, he's a bit tight on the bars. Let the bike take it, Chops. Hey, Should go a bit lively there. I'm gonna knock, knock it down one. Oh, sketchy. Going uphill slightly. I'll drop another card. I'm tight in the arms. I'm, I'm too tight, really. I can feel I am. Loosen up your upper body. Don't grip the bar so tight. This is quite gnarly, this. Very rocky, little stones. Very loose. Gnarly and loose. Oh, jeez. What a great bike, though. 
What a fantastic bike to be able to do this sort of terrain on easily. I can see what all the fuss is about. Oh, 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 oh. I must remember that. I, I, what's happened? I got a puncher, I think. Got a bloody puncher. I got a puncher. No. Yeah. I got a flat. Oh shit. Well, I think the rear's alright, it's the front which is gone. If it's tube, I've got a 21 inch tube. Have you? Good luck getting the wheel out though. We're going to limp to the pub. It's going to be two to three hours for recovery. <laughs> two to three hours for recovery. So we're going to limp two miles up the road, put some air in it, limp it to the pub. And at least we can have a beer then. <laughs> oh, I don't, I'm, I'm debating whether that's even doing anything, mate. No, you're up to 10 PSI. Am I? It's better than zero. Uh, by the time I got on the bike, it'll be dead. It's on the side, it's on the side. Side wall somewhere, split. What are they called again? Kangles. Caroos. Caroos. Metzler Caroos, not, not kangaroos. Metzler Caroos. Not the tyre's fault. I think it was just a big flint. Nothing to be done. Unavoidable. Could have been any one of us. Very yeah. little in there. Okay. Well, I'll just wheel you all the way there. 10 miles an hour maximum. Whoa! Brake on the rear chops. That is truly horrible. Tubeless tyre, you see. Tubeless tyre is damaged on the outer side wall, so you couldn't even plug it. Nothing you can do. New tyre time. Welcome to the world's slowest KTM review video. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. I was really, really enjoying that. Well, there we go. The 790 Adventure R. It was fantastic off-road while it lasted. <laughs> I'll have to get borrow it again and try and try again. What a shame. Which way? Right. Did he need three miles or thirty miles? I'm not sure. Where's this pub? I need a drink. 